Hey guys, so one of the things that I'm hearing from a few people is they want to use breakout rooms inside of channels, uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to demonstrate that with this breakout demonstration team that I have created. Uh, and you can see here that in my calendar, I've added a, uh, a testing uh, event. So I'm just going to join that with my user now. Uh, I'll just turn off my audio there. So uh, as I join the room, we'll see who else is in the call. Great, we've got Adele here already. So in the chat window, I'll just turn off notifications. I can say, hi Adele, uh, and send that through. Um, if I turn unmute here, Adele, are you able to hear me okay? I can see that you are muted. Let me know if you can uh, hear us. Awesome, that's fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, demonstrate how we can use uh, breakout rooms and channels. So we now have three people inside of the room, uh, myself, Adele, and Alf. And what we're going to do is uh, show you how within Teams, you can use breakout rooms. So you notice now when I look at my team, my meeting has been minimized into my top left-hand corner. My uh, general channel shows me that I have a video running because that's where my calendar was set up. I can also see how long it's been running for and who's currently in the meeting. And that's going to be really important because as we switch into breakout rooms, uh, we're going to um, see who's in each breakout room and what their status is. So for example, if I'm the teacher, I might say, okay guys, let's go into the breakout room and we're going to use this cool feature down the bottom called Meet Now. So I'll turn off my camera, I don't need that on right now. I'm going to give it a, uh, a name, Group 1 uh, Discussion. And I'm going to go Meet Now. Now notice I haven't uh, consciously left my uh, main meeting, but immediately it has gone on to hold. So I can see up in the top left-hand corner my meeting is on hold. Uh, I'm going to suggest that Adele comes into my meeting uh, room now as well as Elf. So all they need to do is uh, exactly the same process. They can jump into the, uh, the breakout rooms, and now I have Adele in my breakout room as well. And if I join with uh, Elf as well, then they are all in my, uh, my meeting room now. Here comes Elf, which is pretty cool. So they've had exactly the same experience. Need to mute Elf, there we go. Exactly the same experience. They've all had their meeting room go on hold and they've simply joined. Now if we go back to our team, we can see now on the left hand side there's a meeting running in the general channel. That's the, the main class lesson so to speak. There is a breakout room that's running here with one channel and we can easily hop between them. Okay, So that we can see here that Adele and uh, Alf are still, Al, are still in that room but they're on hold. And in the breakout room, we have all three of us in this room as well. Now the fun part here is that additional breakout rooms could be made. So if I ask Adele to make a new um, group discussion in the breakout rooms channel, then uh, she can join that and effectively go on hold as well. So whilst that's happening in the background, we should see that appear uh, here shortly. Uh, notice that in the top left hand corner, my main call uh, is still on hold. I can click the play button to just jump straight back into the main room or I can choose to hang up. And here we can see that Adele has now created group 2 discussion and she's the only person in it. Notice though that she's still in uh, this group breakout as well. So if I returned to that group breakout and had a look at the attendees, I can now see that Adele is actually on hold. She's still uh, a member of this group but she's not present here, she's joined another breakout room, which is pretty uh, useful indicator if I'm the teacher jumping between channels. Now, as the teacher, I might want to jump into group two discussion and see what's going on. So notice my breakout room demonstration is on hold. I'm currently in the group one. I can join group two. So we turn off the camera and I'm connecting and now I'm part of uh, group two. And Adele might choose to share her screen uh, into this group call. And notice as Adele is sharing her screen, I can see all of the rooms that I'm part of. The main classroom lesson, 
the first group discussion. And here in group two discussion, which I'm part of, here's Adele sharing her screen uh, as well, showing us the Teams window actually. And as Adele moves her mouse around, you notice that in her call, she has the ability to rejoin the main lesson, breakout room at the top, group discussion one if she wanted to, or she can exit. So she might decide I'm gonna stay in group two and hang up group one discussion from, uh, there we go. She's there, that's cool. And what she might do is have a question. So she might want to go back to the main breakout room to ask the teacher a question. So she can click play to resume that. And she will immediately leave this call. We notice that she's moved to being on hold. If we check the status, the organizer of the meet is now on hold. Uh, I'm in here still and muted. Uh, and she's gone back to the main lesson. So that's a really cool uh, way and demonstration, I guess, of showing how you can actually um, jump between breakout rooms. Now, if I choose to return to the main breakout room as well, it simply puts my group two participation on hold as well. I can come back there at any stage, or I can choose to uh, hang up that call uh, and exit it. Notice now, as the teacher, I can see that there's two groups going on uh, in the breakout rooms, two video calls. You can have up to five. But what if I wanted to send a message to everybody to get them to come back to the main lesson? So I could actually put an announcement in here, uh, return to main uh, lesson, please. Uh, you have five more minutes, for example, you have five more minutes, whatever the message may be. I can tag people here uh, as usual. Uh, who else did we have, have in the call? Please come back to main lesson. And the fun part here is I can actually post this in multiple channels. So in my uh, breakout room demonstration, I can choose to post this into the general channel, the breakout channel, of course. Uh, I can even cross post into another team if I wanted to, uh, if that was gonna be appropriate. I push that out, I hit send. Here it is in the breakout rooms. And here it is in the main channel as well as an announcement. A really cool and fun way to do that. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an indication of how easy it is to create uh, Meet Now sessions for breakout rooms inside of uh, Microsoft Teams. One last tip I will show you is that sometimes people, rather than having multiple breakouts inside of a particular single channel, which is a good idea because it keeps things tidy, uh, might choose to have separate channels for each one. So you could actually have group one um, breakout room and the name's pretty standard. You can even make these private, so only certain members of your class can come into them uh, and go add now. And what I'm gonna ask Adele to do is that when that channel appears uh, inside of Microsoft Teams for her, she's gonna jump in there and create a meeting uh, inside of group one. Uh, but of course you can see the same process applies, right? You might have group two, group two breakout room. Add the channel. Too easy. And we can see in the background already that Adele has gone into her group one breakout and is meeting there. So as a teacher, I have a super easy overview of who's meeting in what room and in what channel at one time. Uh, I think that's a pretty easy and, and straightforward way to describe how breakout rooms can run inside of Microsoft Teams. Hope that was helpful. I'm gonna hang up from all of the various uh, channels that I'm part of now and, and close off some of those. And uh, yeah, hope that was a useful session for you.